Good morning and welcome to Heartland Outdoor Living. This morning we're going to be getting ready for deer season. Figure what finer way than to go ahead and smoke up some venison from last year. This will not quite finish us off, but we need to get out in the woods and get going so we can get some more of nature's fresh harvest going. Good morning and welcome to Heartland Outdoor Living. This morning we're going to be smoking up some venison on the grill, so if that's something you guys are interested in, I'd love to talk you into sticking around and watch as we go through this video. We're going to be smoking up a shoulder and a small shoulder and then a couple of pieces off of the uh, rear rump. So again, we're using our special seasoning. It's basically a mix from Aaron Franklin's recipe. So you guys haven't checked out Aaron Franklin's smoking book I'll put a link down below but again this is our version of Aaron Franklin's meat mix we've got the smoker going already and we're fixing to go out and put like I say some venison on the smoker so it's gonna be a good day let's get to the video guys Good morning, welcome to Harland Outdoor Living. This morning we're going to be out here smoking up some venison. It's uh, nice day this morning we've had some showers this morning so it's nice and cool in fact it's kind of humid but it's getting real real close to deer season so i figure what better time than to kind of show you some of our tips and tricks that we do when we're smoking up some venison meat so this morning one of the things i thought i'd go over what we generally do when we're smoking venison or cooking it either way is uh, for the prep work on it we would like to get all your silver skin off any of that stuff that's attached to the tendons uh, on the steaks themselves. Make sure that it's just clean red meat. The hindquarter that we're doing today, obviously you're not gonna be able to do all that. So one of the things that we do and what we found to be helpful when you're cooking meat that has the, any of the silver skin, if you will, or, or maybe even the ligaments, tendons, stuff like that, like you'd have in a full shoulder if you do a shoulder or hindquarter, is we'll do a low heat longer than opposed to like beef or pork where you would probably do a high heat shorter and it's uh it's actually always worked out real good for us and kept the meat good and tender it's uh something i think you would enjoy as well the one thing i will say is as many of you know we always take some deer steaks and stuff with us when we go to deer camp and I do the same thing when I'm at camp, whether I'm here or at, at camp or the grill. But even doing the steaks, um, I always do a low heat longer than I would uh, the high heat quicker. So like on a typical steak, like a beef steak, a lot of guys like to sear the outside and then that kind of helps hold in the juices, that type of stuff. I found that doing the low heat longer you still end up with plenty of juices and you end up with a much tender, much more tender uh, piece of venison when you're done and you're ready to cook it. So that's something to think about guys and it's something that we do and, and again, um, we'd love to hear your thoughts on it. What, what, what's some things that you do when you're cooking your venison that helps or speeds up the process and or just something that you do to make your, your venison a little more tender than maybe some of the other guys. I know when I was when I was a kid, I've been uh, <laughs> exposed to some deer steaks. You could tell they threw them on a hot grill, flipped them over, and it was it was as tough as boot leather. And we we like to pride ourselves on stuff that we can share with our friends and family that they're going to just really, really enjoy. So, again, like I say, something that's always worked for us is the slow heat on a longer cook time. You always end up with a much softer, more uh, tender 
eatable piece of meat. Eatable, how do you like that? <laughs> Again guys, we'll continue this cook. I've just got the meat on the smoker and we'll come back and check on it here in a little bit, but this is gonna be a relatively simple cooking process. Oh, it's looking good. yummy well guys we just checked the temps on everything and it's it's officially done look at how nice and golden smoke that is nice and red on the ends down here got some burn ends for the pups and look at that would you just look at that oh man it's it's juicy guys that is juicy Beautiful, beautiful piece of cut. Ow! Ow! Dag, never that hurt. Beautiful cuts of meat right there, guys. Wish y'all was here. Let's take it in and see what Angie thinks. All right, guys. I'm excited to cut into this. Let's see what it tastes like. We'll cut off the little end here. Take a look at this. Nice, looks nice. Good. Oh, well, you think it looks good? Come take a bite of this. Mmm. 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 Buster wants some. Mmm. King wants some. Mmm. Oh. Take a bite of this. Come over here next to the camera so we can hear you. Huh? I can't hear you. Huh? Oh, wow. That is really good. It really is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm very impressed. Wow. Nice and tender, isn't it? Yeah. Cooked that's, up to that's the That's venison? That is. Huh. Oh. Tastes venison. like beef. It's good. Yeah. It's part, wonderful. Part of the secret is the seasoning. The other part is butchering it yourself. Getting all the bad stuff off. All right. Oh, I'm telling you, it makes uh, a difference. Okay. Tell me that ain't good. It's wonderful. It really is. I'm impressed. Goodness. I almost feel rude eating this in front of you guys. It's really good. Uh oh. <laughs> look, at, look at all the kids <laughs> standing around. Hang on, watch. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me know what you think, guys. There's another one. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys that's uh that's gonna wrap it up on a real quick smoke this is something you guys can do at home with your smoker with the uh, hunting season getting closer we're getting excited about it again we've uh this is our last bit of what this is our last bit of get the, down <laughs> this, uh, oh boy. this is our last little bit of the deer shoulders that we had from last year because we always butcher our own and uh, again guys if you like this video give us a big thumbs up we appreciate your likes comments and subscribes and don't forget when you're cooking your venison just uh take your time guys get it up to that 140 to one it, depending on which internet place you look at your cooking temperature for venison is anywhere from 130 to 165 and they suggest taking the hamburger meat since it's going to potentially have more bacteria mixed in the meat than any other part of the meat they say take the hamburger meat up to 165. Your steaks and stuff can be between that 130 and 140. 130 and 140, you're still going to get that good moisture content in, in your venison, and it's not going to be dry. Um, again, we, what'd you use to season it? I uh, used our secret yeah. seasoning. Yeah. That's so, what I and, and I kind of awesome. told them when I started the video this morning. That's uh, if you'll go and take a look at Aaron's uh, barbecue, Aaron Franklin's got a barbecue book. I'll list a book down below in a link. Um, you can get it on Amazon, but he has a couple of different recipes on making your own rubs. And we kind of took his and put our own little twist to it. Rednecked it up. And, <laughs> and made our own rub. That's that, what I do. So it's, it's delicious. We use it on everything, the pork, beef, turkey, chicken. 
and venison and it's uh, real easy to make. So again guys, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes and may you have a blessed week. Peace. You want peace? Don't forget the other one. You want peace? Bella. <laughs> you want a taste test? All right. Everybody's happy. Have a blessed week. <laughs>